Rahim, Bismillah Hiraman Rahim, dear students of Alevat class, as you know, we have delivered so many topics of uh, this botany uh, and plant morphology. Uh, we have deal of uh, flower, uh, what is flower, and what are the different parts of flower. Uh, so, so far as uh, today's topic is concerned, it is classifications of flowers, classification of flowers. Dear students, of jante hain ke everything has it has various classes. Similarly, so far as the flowers concerned, they are classified uh, into various uh, groups. First is uh, one is complete flower. That is a flower and uh, that having all the four whorls. A flower having four whorls. That is sepals, petals, stamens. Uh, or androsium, gynosium, that flower is known as complete flower. So, uh, in short, we can say that a flower having all the four whorls, that is, a seri whorls, a reproductive whorls, that a flower is said to be a complete flower. Uh, it is found in China rose uh, and other flowers. Incomplete, a flower that lacks one or more of these sets. That means there is lake of one or two of these sets. That type of flower is known as incomplete. That flower is known as incomplete flower. That means either there is uh, uh, one, either of these sepals, petals, androsium or gynosium, uh, either of them is lacking. That is known as incomplete flower. So far as uh, such condition, it is found in Lufia. So far as this condition is concerned, it is found in some flowers. They are known as incomplete flowers when any uh, of these four flowers, one or more, are uh, lacking uh, or absent. Such a condition is known as incomplete flower. <coughs> Next is hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodites are also known as uh, hermaphrodites are also known as uh, bisexual. That means those flowers, those flowers uh, which uh, having both male and female organs are present in those flowers where both uh, stamens and corpulas are present. Such a condition is known as hermaphrodite flowers or bisexual flowers. Dear students, they are also known as perfect flowers. That means all those flowers having both male as well as female organs present in them such a condition is known as hermaphrodite or bisexual or perfect flowers <coughs> next is unisexual imperfect flowers a flower in which only one reproductive world is present that means both are not present but only one when only one world is present such a condition or such a flower is known as such a flower is known as unisexual flower such a flower is known as unisexual flower in these unisexual flowers may be they may be of two types they may be uh, of two types one is uh, pistillate second is stamenate the flower uh, first hum dekhenge what is pistillate a flower with only gynosium uh, is uh, present that is a flower in which only male part is present such a condition is known as uh, pistillate flowers. Such a condition is known as pistillate flower having only female reproductive part or gynosium present. Such a uh, flower is known as pistillate flower. Uh, next is stimnate flower. That is a flower with only androsium or male part is present. That is uh, such a flower is known as stimnate or male flower. So uh, presence of male part, presence of male part or androsium uh, is known as stamenate flowers. It is male, male flower of uh, Lufia. Similarly, there is monoecious condition, monoecious flowers, where both the male and female flowers are present on the same plant. The plant is called a monoecious. Monoecious is such a condition when uh, both male as well as when male as well as female part. Both are present on the same plant. Such a condition is known as such a flower is monoecious or monoecious condition is monoecious flower. 
that means both male as well as female is present on the same uh, plant and the next is dioecious in male and female flowers occur on two different uh, plants that means both are not present in one but in the different plants the plant uh, species is called dioecious such a condition known as dioecious it is found in mulberry neuter a flower without androsium and gynosium a flower without androsium or gynosium that means where either androsium uh, neither androsium nor gynosium is present such a plant is known as such a flower it is known as neuter that is uh, uh, ray florets of sunflower such a condition or such a flower is known as neuter so far as uh, their um, presence of this uh, uh, male and female uh, presence they are of various uh, types uh, so far as uh, this condition is concerned uh, monoecious uh, that means when both the sexes male and female are present same point is monoecious dioecious when male and female occur on two different plants it is dioecious and neuter when they are without androsium and gynosium such a flower is known as neuter uh, flower uh, dear students these are different classes of flowers today it is sufficient Next, inshallah, we will meet uh, tomorrow. It is sufficient. Thanks. It is.